We don't do this very often on this channel, but Creality asked me to take a look at their CR10 SE printer. So it's not a sponsored video. I didn't get paid to do this, but I do like to look at equipment like this, um, you know, just to keep it ahead of the market. So this it's a filament printer, and we always do have filament printers in here for doing large format things. So let's take a look at it and see what I thought of it, and then you may decide it's something that you might like to look into. <laughs> So before we dive right in, let's just remind ourselves what uh, this kind of printer is. So it's an FDM printer, which is a fused deposit modeling printer. This is the type of printer that lays down filament rather than um, raising out of a vat of liquid. Um, and as much as we don't really do unboxings that often, I thought it'd be quite nice to get uh, Josh and Tom to unbox it and we'll, we'll, we'll make a quick video of what we thought about the whole process. Um, so we're doing it properly for once. We're actually going to open it and, and review every part. So yeah. the great thing about this model is, I'm going to say it right from the start, is it's super easy to build. So it's less than an hour with all of the messing in. Um, so to, to build it to, in, in one session is really just about bringing out these component parts following the manual and then just just basically bolting it to be, together and switching it on so it's a very very simple process if you've ever built a 3d printer the manual is super super simple and the first thing to do obviously is just to go through the, the first couple of pages and make sure you've got all of your components and as you can see there's one or two main ones there's like the main base component the the bed and the gantry and, and and then everything else is quite small and the great thing you don't have to put any belt drive together or anything it's all a, an assembly already done for you which for me is a massive bonus it's a great bonus straight from the start so basically you take all of those parts and you 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 basically follow them the instructions and just bolt them together now one thing that was a little bit awkward is the uprights and um, the bolts that go up underneath they are a little bit awkward for one person you wouldn't want to do this really uh, with one person it's not too heavy and um, but it is fiddly uh, and Josh did drop it on his head at one point which is our own fault um, but uh, you know coming up underneath um, uh, uh, and popping the bolts in here it's much much easier when there's two of you and want to stabilize it so you can really get that kind of tightness on on you know those um, those bolts so the uprights are on the front panel is on and um, all very very straightforward as I said the drive motor and the belts are all pre-fitted that is if you are not a tinkerer if you just like things to work then that is an absolute godsend it, it makes life so much easier it, it's very much like a, a, a big piece of Lego like four or five pieces of Lego and then a, a little bit of wiring where you just plug things in uh, and as you can see here it is literally follow the instructions plug one into where it says plug it there's no wiring as such it's just simply getting the connectors in place um, and if you've ever built one of these and been frustrated you, you know and I have trust me that this is super super easy so it, it, if you can screw things together if you're competent enough just to follow a, a, a written manual and just you know and just bring it together um, w with bolts then you, you you'll be up and running in absolutely no time and, and we were now a lot of it is driven by an app so you must get the Creality app and that helps you do a lot of things. It helps you with things like calibration and it helps you with bed leveling and things like that. So download the app before you go anywhere. And then from the panel at the front, it's it's very simple just to, to get things going and get in the, as you can see now, the filament installed. So we used a couple of different types of filament. So we used the one that um, we got with it. So we got some of the Creality filament and we've got some generic filament as well, which obviously Creality don't recommend, but we, we've done lots of tests now and we, and we found that there was there was no issues with any of the 1.75 mil PLA that we used. So we popped in um, the USB stick and we obviously did Benchy, which is the bench test for everybody. And it, it, it simply was a case of calibrating it once. Um, now you can in the settings just turn the calibration off. We For the first three or four prints we made it calibrate every single time. 
um, but it's it, you know it, you literally can just um, turn it so that it calibrates it once and then that's it done now the bed is a flexible um, magnetic bed so it's you know it bends once you bring the model off it and that again makes life so much more you know simple just by you know once it's finished just just being able to pop it off by bending it a little bit and as you can see with just a few minutes the um, you know the, the test prints just confirmed that everything is working the hot end the extruder is all working and um, we tried a couple of types of filament straight away as I say the black and the white one we just did the same print over and over again just to see how things coped now it is shaking a lot here this is quite a heavy unit for, for an, an FDM printer and um, not unwieldy but it just bear it in mind it will shake on a loose table now you need to download the um, Creality 3d print app um, so Creality print and it is again very very simple it's just what you see is what you get if you can read the things on the left and you not you understand what um, scale rotate um, and move around is then it's very simple just to pop in a model now this is the orc head that we did as the higher level test um, this was created in ZBrush, it was decimated down to a lower level and I, I simply just popped it in as it came uh, out of ZBrush with a flat back, did the automatic um, supports and then sliced it and that is it. There's, there's very, very little to, to learn from, you know, or very little that can go wrong in, in that process. Now what came off, um, we had done as default, so um, you know it basically prints it at the default setting from Creality Print. Now um, th that's about 0.25, so about quarter of a mil per layer, so it's not that high res at all. But I wanted to test it one for speed and two for um, you know you know what the supports are like and that kind of thing. And as you can see, at all levels, I found the supports. You, you know, you, before I even took it to the tool bench. The supports would generally speak and crack off with no problem whatsoever now the next one has got um, a, a coating of undercoat because I always think it's better once we once we undercoat it we can see the problems a, a lot easier and you can see here we had some drift so where, where the um, whether it because of the shaking or whether it because of you know it's, it's just one of the first two or three prints you know there were some serious lines in there now you can expect the lines you can see on the face there you know this was laying on its back so it does help a for a character but those lines and the drift down the, the sides are not acceptable so we switched it to a much higher res and straight away we you know we've got we've got a great um print now now it's not resin quality you will not get however or however much anybody tells you on a on a filament 3d printer you will not get a resin finish you won't get smooth print you'll get fairly smooth print and you know we use them all the time for volume and for, for mechanical parts but I've never found any of the chemicals or acetone or you know anything that you see online to, to clean it up to get it completely smooth. So if you need smooth, you don't need this printer. These are the kind of prints that we get off for, from our um, resin printers, and they are you know functionally they are like production finished pieces that you know they look like they've been you know injection molded. And if that's what you want, then you need to invest in one of the um, you know any of the the, the um, resin printers will give you this kind of quality and um, uh, you know this this printer the uh, the Creality CR10 is not for that kind of purpose but as you can see from the you know from the the, the printed tests that we did it is very very good you know the quality is as good as any other 3d printer that I've had right the way back from um, when I had a MakerBot um, right at the beginning uh, and, and and the quality you know for me I, I am not unhappy in any way with it so in terms of a rating if I was going to give it a rating I'd give it five out of five because for the lower end of the market for speed for accuracy um, and certainly for ease of setup then this is a fantastic printer um, and I, I personally would heartily recommend it now I don't have a lot of experience in the last five or six years with filament but I have enough to know that I would buy this product. I've put all the links in the description down below, so you can, you know, if you want to go and get one of these, there's a link there to get it. Uh, it's not affiliated, and I'm not sponsored, so there's no benefit to us whatsoever. This is simply about us telling you about a product that we do actually like and support. I really hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get our content in front of other people who might like it 
and if you like it enough to give it a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel we basically help people to create in new and innovative ways and hopefully we can help you have a great week everyone